Engineer 775. I know you've seen this video before about rain catchment, but I've added to it, made some improvements, and wanted to go through a little more detail because I've gotten a lot of questions about the components in the system. And there will be, there's going to be a, a detailed report, about a 20 page report on the system. I'm not going to put all that info in this video or you wouldn't watch it because it'd be about two hours long. So, anyway, what we're going to do is uh, show you how to take rainwater from the roof of your house to the roof of your mouth, and meaning we're going to make potable water out of rain catchment systems. We have seven layers of filtration starting with uh, leaf relief gutter guard and then we're going to come down to our first flush diversion filtration system then we'll take the water into our rain barrel where we have a floating uh, siphon p-trap with a rodent guard and then we're going to have a floating extractor that's number four then we're going to have inside a rusco spin down sediment filter that can be rinsed and then a uh, regular uh, type of culligan high flow 5 to 10 micron filter and then the last filtration component will be the Dalton Rio whole house system with ceramic cartridges, six ceramic cartridges. So out of that, there's no bacteria that is going to make it through that system. So seven, seven ways to clean the water off your roof and, and just drink that water. And we'll be showing you how nasty rainwater can actually be uh, if you, you don't think you need to do that. So, all right. So uh, we'll have several pumps a hand pump and a booster pump in this system and we'll show you all the different components and if you have any questions let me know okay our rain catchment systems uh, they need some maintenance you need to clean it out there's going to be there's some sludge in here um, this one has reset so it was still working good in that after it stops raining the water does come out of the orifice and i'll show you that but there's a lot of crud in that can come Hey, there's the the ball that actually checks at the top, but look at this. I mean that is bugs, bug stuff, all sorts of stuff out of the trees. Who knows? Good for your garden. Excellent fertilizer, compost, but there is stuff in here. So sometimes, even and the filter does a great job. This little filter. I'll show you the parts here. This uh, plastic filter screen keeps the orifice plate from clogging which is amazing with all this stuff that it didn't clog and it, it actually reset so I'll show you that orifice plate which is right here and that's a 0.25 a quarter of a millimeter so that that hole in here and I know you can't see it very well but there's a hole in here that allows this thing to reset so it'll drain this first flush diverter pipe after a rain and have it reset automatically for your next uh, round of catching rainwater. So great. This is what you do not want in your rain barrels. A lot of people just run their gutters straight into their rain catchment so this is what they're getting in their rain barrels. I'm trying to turn this water into drinkable water so why would I want to start with that and try to filter it. I'm going to burn up a lot of filters. So we're using these uh, coarse mechanical filtration methods to get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so when it's raining, you get a, you see a stream coming out. I hope you can see that stream. That's how the um, first flush diverter resets. Okay. Okay, just to show you the siphon skimmer that is in here, you can see the water going over the edge of the skimmer, so it's taking off all the floating particles. I hope you can pick that up on on film. So, all right, skimming nicely, and then that flushes it out. A peat trap, so and the rodent guard, so no smell, no bugs, no critters can get back into your rain harvesting tank. Here's the grand finale for our rainwater catchment system. We are actually going to take that rainwater, we're bringing it in from our rain tank and we're going to pressurize it and run it through a series of filters and there's a reason for each type of filter. The first filter is kind of a real coarse filter. This again is part of the seven layers of filtration we're doing. The Rusco spin down filter is a great way to be able to visibly see the water quality that you're working with and to back flush and to get all those as much of the coarse particles you can. Maybe you have a shingled roof and you want some of the, the you know 
the fiberglass that does come down in there to flush that out before you hit your 5 to 10 micron particle filter. And you definitely want everything clean before it hits the six candled uh, ceramic Dalton water filter. And this is what's going to make the water potable to be able to drink it f um, off your system. So you're able to go from the, the roof of your house to the roof of your mouth uh, with this system. So let's just, uh, we're going to fire it up and uh, we'll just run it and pressurize it. Okay, we're running our uh, Dankoff Solar Force piston pump. That's pressurizing our system, bringing our rainwater in, pressurizing it in the water box. This does have a cover over it. I'm not, I'm not being safe right now. And then we pressurize the water, and then we bring it through our filtration. So we are we've been doing some adjustment on the old pump, which is about 25 years old, but she's doing great. And uh, that'll be good enough to do our test. Yeah, one of the cool things, it, it, you want to make sure you do your plumbing so that you can back flush this filter. It's a spin down filter, but in order to back flush it correctly, you need to actually run water against the arrows. So when you're, I don't know if you can see it in there, I mean, it's pretty clean. We already back flushed it once. So I don't see any particles in here, so that's nice. That The screening on that, I think it's 100, 100 micron, 104 micron, and it's nicely flushed out. So we'll shut that off. Back to shutting our back flush system on. We can open our valve back to our house and shut all the other valves off. Okay, that's it for back flush. Okay, now what we're going to do is actually see how good the water is. We're going to fill up the glass. And this is again through so many layers, seven layers of filtration. Awesome, perfect. You could definitely live off of this system. There's no way you're gonna get sick. And um, it's just a good, simple mechanical way to take your rainwater, uh, store it, filter it, and use it. You can use it for drinking, taking a shower, running it through your home. You might have this for your existing well or spring system. You could easily bring your rainwater in through it now. And if you want to, don't want to do this, you can isolate this off and just use your rainwater catchment for your gardening and your homesteading needs. But this is a great way to go. Nobody's going to get sick if you follow this method of uh, filtering your rainwater. This is Engineer 775 signing out. Not hard to pump at all. And then coming over here, we're gonna we run it through a um, I think it's a 10 micron filter. So we have our drinking water coming out. A lot of air in the system, so it's a little cloudy. So lots of air, so it's well aerated. Tastes like PVC glue. Pipe to the outside, so you can see the 